Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Carrie, and today I have a really exciting topic to talk to you about how I became a full-time theater director here in Hawaii. And this is something that I've been doing for the past 16 years of my life and something that I really tr truly enjoyed and something that I'm very passionate about. I wanted to share my experiences with you. And honestly, I've never shared any of this with anyone on YouTube before. So I'm excited to share this today and let's get into it. So for this story, I have to start at the very beginning. And for me, it all started back in elementary school. That's where the seed was planted that I loved performing arts. And I was involved in the performing arts program there. It was an after school program. I had an awesome theater teacher who helped us write our own shows and we performed them and we would travel and perform. And it just really sparked my interest from a very young age into performing arts. And I remember thinking at the time, even from elementary school, that if I could be like my theater teacher, that would be amazing when I grew up. And then I got to high school and decided to do the theater program there at the public high school that I was at and loved it and fell in love with the people, the work, and really just got in the vibe of creating our own set, creating our own costumes and being on stage with everybody. And it, it was just an amazing experience, honestly. And I never felt that I was one of the better actors or performers even, but I really loved just being part of the ensemble that put together a show. And it's just, it's crazy. And it, I just remember thinking, wow, like we as students, we did this. And I had so much pride in what we did at the time. And that was the start really of after elementary school, this really continued to, to put in my mind that I really loved theater. But again, I never felt confident enough to go into theater because I just, I never got the lead roles or anything, or I never, you know, had big parts in the shows, but I just loved being a part of the experience. And so I went to college at the University of Portland and it's a small school, um, but they do have a theater program there. But when I went there, I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't think I'm good enough to, to major in theater. And I didn't feel like I had enough self-confidence to major in theater because, you know, I, I feel like you just, to major, to be a theater major, it's like you feel like you have to be good at it. And I never had that in me, but I went into communications and I didn't like it. I did education. I didn't like it either. And so I decided, you know, the ending of my sophomore year to major in theater. And it was a bold choice because again, I didn't know anybody in the theater department. And, you know, to move majors, your middle of your sophomore year, it's kind of a big change. And my mom wanted me to graduate in four years. Um, so I only had two and a half years to finish, to finish this major. And so I did that. I changed to theater and honestly, that was the best decision that I've ever made because again, you know, I wasn't necessarily the strongest actor. I took all the classes and it really did, um, it helped me to get out of my shell and to be better at acting and to understand theater in all aspects. And to this day, I'm so grateful that I made that change. And looking back now, my senior year of college, I took courses in directing. And before then, I never really thought about anything about directing. You know, I never thought I would ever direct a show. But once I took these courses, I was like, wow, this is a really fun class. I really enjoy directing. And so for my senior thesis, I decided to direct my first show. It was a one X show and it only had three women in it and it was called Vanities. And I just honestly had the best experience of my life directing that show. And I remember after it was done, my, my family flew up to see it and it was a huge deal. You know, the public could come and watch it for free. And we put on, a, I wanna say like one or two nights of, of this show in the theater. And I just got my first taste of directing. And I remember thinking if I could do this for the rest of my life, I'd be the happiest person ever. So this is where the story gets even better. As I'm directing my one act, Vanities, I'm also thinking about what am I gonna do after college? Everybody that knew that I was a theater major at the time, the biggest question that I got was, well, what are you gonna do with a theater degree? And that is a great question because honestly, I didn't know. So I, wanted, I knew that I wanted to move back home to Hawaii. So I decided to email and mail out letters to different schools here on island 
to see if they were either looking to start a drama program or if they were looking for a theater teacher. And most schools honestly didn't reply. However, one school I found out was interested. And how I found that out was actually my parents actually knew the principal of the school and ran into her at some event. And you know, from there they had that conversation and she did say she was looking for, she was looking to start a drama program, which was amazing because just the timing of my graduation and the fact that she was looking to start a drama program, everything just kind of worked out. And so coming home, I was able to get a job and they, this school did not have a drama program yet. So I was going to start one. And being 22, I was kind of freaked out because I'm just graduated from college and now I'm gonna start a program. Like that just seems outlandish in many ways. And so I, contacted my former drama teacher from elementary school, the one that from the very beginning, you know, I knew that she's, she sparked this inspiration in me to teach theater and to be in performing arts, I contacted her to help me at least start this drama program. She helped give me a framework of like what to do, how to start a theater program at a school. And it was probably in the beginning, a little bit messy for sure. And I, being 22, I didn't exactly know what I was doing, but I taught students from kindergarten through eighth grade theater. And being like a first year teacher at a school, I wasn't planning on doing any kind of production or show just because I didn't want to fail and, you know, make these kids all look not their best. And I talked to my sister and some of my family members and they said, Carrie, you should do a show. You know, you should put on something. and. I think part of me, I just didn't want to fail. I didn't want it to not be great. Um, but I decided to do my first show, my first year there, and it was called The Emperor's New Clothes. Leading up to it, I was very, very nervous. It, it's not like when you're in college and you have mentors and you have, you know, like your professors there to help you. And this is like you're putting a show on all by yourself. So I needed to find someone to help us with our, with our set. Um, I needed to get lights. I needed to, you know, find people to help me with sound and there's just so many things when you're putting on a show and so I just felt very overwhelmed I remember with that first show but after that hump it just felt like wow you know I can do this and um, that experience was I would say pretty life-changing for me because there was this, a huge learning curve that I had to go through in order for me to continue to direct and to do what I do up until today. But that experience really did pave my way into directing. Let's keep going. So at this school, I was able to teach acting classes and direct, which honestly, that's like the best combination any teacher could ask for, any performing arts teacher could ask for, and it was one of the best experiences of my life. Just being there, it was a close-knit community of students and teachers, and just in general, I was able to grow this drama program that didn't exist into, you know, something where students were excited to come and to be in theater and to, you know, perform on stage after a couple of years of just being there. My passion in theater grew and my passion in directing grew and I would direct musicals every year for for these students. And I got my sister and her wife, Jenny and Lori, involved because they're musicians. So they would come and they would help the students as well sometimes. And for the three of us, this really did inspire us and sparked a vision for us to start another theater program called Ohana Arts, which is a nonprofit organization that we would run in the summer and has been going on for about 12 years now where we can just impact more students who love theater and who want to be a part of a theatrical experience in the summer. So it's been wonderful because I've been able to direct during the school year and then also in the summer through our nonprofit organization as well. So when it comes to directing shows and having that as my full-time job for the last 16 years, something that I realized that was really important was that for me, I really had to create these opportunities on my own with the support of other people, of course, but none of these opportunities just kind of came to me on my doorstep. These are things I had to start a drama program in order for 
me to even have the opportunity opportunity to direct. And then on top of that, my sisters and I, we started a nonprofit in order for us to continue our passion in performing arts as well. So in 2014, Jenny and Lori decided to write their first musical called Peace on Your Wings, which is a story of Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes. And I was lucky enough to be able to direct this musical. And honestly, this was probably one of the most challenging and toughest but most rewarding shows that I've directed so far up until this point. And it was just a lot of fun directing something that has never been done before. And we were able to take this show to the neighbor islands here in Hawaii and then also to LA and New York. And it's been done a couple other places in California as well. But the exciting thing about this show is we're planning on bringing it back in 2022, the end of 2022, and then performing it in early 2023 um, here in Hawaii and then taking it to Japan. So, so many plans for that musical, but it's just really about creating your own experiences and making your own art, especially when you're an artist or you're in performing arts. So after nine years of teaching at the private school that I was at, I got an opportunity to teach at a public school, one of the largest public schools here on Oahu, and I got to do the same thing, which was teach acting and to direct the shows. And it's been the most rewarding, but also the most challenging six years teaching in the public school, but also teaching high school, which is an age that I really enjoy. And I think it's just been a lot of fun teaching them. So far, it's been 16 years of doing something that I really love. And it really did start with that personal drive and initiative that I had to take in order to even get these experiences that I've had the last 16 years. I've had to work at creating my own opportunities for a long time and also just wear very many hats as a director um, in order for things to just get done before production. And if you're watching this and you're not a theater person or anything, I think the one thing that I've learned from my experience in directing and just being able to do something that you love is that a lot of times it starts with creating your own opportunities and doing whatever you can to, to make it happen. So I hope this video helped anybody out there a little bit, um, but this kind of goes into a little bit of my personal experience with directing and with performing arts. And if you have any questions about my journey, um, please feel free to leave any comments or questions down below and I will make sure to get back to you. And I look forward to also sharing a little bit more about my theater journey with all of you here on YouTube as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.